Hi there, my name is Vishal from MyWave and in this video, we are going to design an admin panel of our, of our e-commerce series. So here is our web page which uh, URL is localhost slash ecom slash admin slash index.php okay and that which I open this PHP file in our text, text editor which is brackets I attach the CSS file which name is admin underscore panel dot CSS file in here okay in the last video we we was attached all the files in this index.php file okay so first of all we need to design a header section so I remove this h1 tag and write a comment header section and take a header tag okay now uh, first of all we need to design this header section so I'm come back to the admin underscore panel dot css file and take a selector of header and take a width is 100% and uh, height 50 pixel the line height is 50 pixel okay because line height is all uh, casually always same as height property so I write the value of line height property is 50 pixel and take a background also for showing us is has C seven two okay C okay C seven one two C four one okay sorry yeah okay now press the control s and let's see in the browser refresh yeah here you go now in the index.php file I take a con uh, container class which is container fluid and in this have we take uh, another div which class name is header content header content okay and in this have okay we take a text which, in, which is like uh, so I say admin panel heading or another things okay so I take a two major divs okay the first div name is is side head okay and uh, second class name is uh, like header nav okay header nav so in the site head nav I write a simple span text which is admin panel okay press the control s and check in the browser yeah here is our admin panel text now to change the color so I simply take a class of bootstrap file sorry Mm, yeah text white oops yeah there you go admin panel and in the header nav we just take a simple ul so we have a ul and you will have we have an anchor tag the anchor tag has a blank id and this is for order okay press the control s and refresh 
so I don't want to this uh, anchor tag out of this header box so I'm simply come to the uh, admin underscore panel access file and here is our parent div which is a uh, header content so dot header content and set the display is flex and justify content is space between space between okay press the control less and check in the browser so as you can see here is our order link is here then what you need to do like I take a lot of uh, option like uh, here is order so order purchase and uh, users logout yeah. so here is another problem is like order purchase user logout is out of the header section so I fix that in our CSS file So in the header content we have a ul tag so it's simply tag the display flex okay refresh yeah there you go all the all the list tag in the header section and in the header content we have a ul and the ally and the ally tag is like margin right is near about 30 pixel list style is none so let's check in the browser refresh okay so now our next task is cha is change the color of this nav links so I copy these things and we have anchor type so I change the color color is has triple F and the text decoration is also none okay yeah and the display is block refresh so as you can see here is our order purchase user logout section is uh, sorry the anchor tags links are looking so good and here is our end panel tag so uh, uh, now I also want to attach some uh, icons before this links so we, so what we need to do attach to this thing so simply I'm going back to the orange PHP file and attach a font option I CSS file so link sorry we have a FA slash SVGVS slash okay and in the JS file I attach script and the source is dot dot slash FA slash as vg.js and in the js folder we have the all things so let's find yeah font awesome hyphen all dot js and uh, before the order tag okay i class name is 
FAS FA home and just test this code it is working or not okay okay it's a double code now press the control s and check in the browser let me check okay refresh yeah here you go uh, the font awesome icon uh, is working fine so let's uh, attach a suitable icon before this all the anchor tags okay so I go to the font awesome website font awesome in the font awesome yeah and the icons so here is order so I just want a basket type icon so I simply type uh, basket let me see yeah here is a shopping basket so I type shopping basket okay let me check okay here is order and here is the purchase option so I type purchase so store hyphen art okay so I copy this P U S C H A S C purchase add okay and from the user I simply type the users because I already know about that and what about logout so I simply type the logout to search sign hyphen out hyphen alt okay sign hyphen out hyphen alt press the control s and check in the browser okay I missed the purchase okay uh, I simply click the I write the name is delivery and what about delivery it's a truck loading or a simple truck here you see k okay yeah here is order delivery user and logout option and all the things are doing good now it's time to test the some other things like a triple bars icon so I s simply search bars okay here is our bars bars okay so after the span tag in the side head icon okay remember it's our cider place of header and this is our header navigation bar 
okay now after the span tag I just take a another icon class and the name is bars and okay close this thing and refresh okay here is your bars NBSP for take a sp uh, special space between this admin panel and the bars icon. Now we again need to change the color of this bars icon. So I take a class name, a custom class name is the class name is menu hyphen button. Okay, and in the header content. okay dot menu button and the color name is the color is has triple F okay and the font size I think I think we don't need to take a custom color. I just font take a font size of this uh, only 20 pixel and take a class name. The class name is text white. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Here we go. Here is our any panel, and I'm and just make this a clickable so cursor is pointer type yeah when I hover on the it's, you can see it's like a clickable button so as you can see here is our uh, here is our header section is now completed in the next video we are we will going to make a, a side navigation bar of this admin panel so thank you so much guys for watching this video in the next video you are going to build a side navigation bar of our this admin panel so meet you soon and say happy coding